Project Workbench. What I see a lot of people interested in, not, not only about your reprising your role, your very memorable role from Voyager in this new series, but also um, I'm very curious, I've discovered this is also not your first time working with uh, Walter Koenig. You, you have experience working with him, so you sort of you sort of come at the Star Trek universe from a bunch of different directions. Well, I've worked with Sky before, too. I, I played Bill Shatner and uh, uh, Roddenberry on Patrol. Oh, okay. I did that. We had, a, that was a wonderful cast. Wonderful cast. And Walter and I, uh, Walter had a wonderful idea of, uh, you know, all the cons. Uh, he, you know, he's invited to a lot of cons. I'm invited to a, mo a moderate amount. And he said he would like to do something else at the con, so he talked to me about duck variations by David Mamet. And he approached five or six of these uh, con producers. And they were very interested. And we got four or five bookings. Uh, and four or five hundred people would show up each time Great. when we did duck variations. And we rehearsed it, and uh, it was fun. I enjoyed his company. He's a theater-based guy. I think he's an American Academy fellow. Yeah, I think he went to the American Academy dramatic art in New York. He did a lot of work in New York. You know, um, he got his, um, he got his spurs. Yeah, he's all right. And with Sky, you know, I, I met Sky, I believe, um, through Walt. I think Walt hmm. introduced me to him. And then later, as I told you, we did the uh, Roddenberry on Patrol, which was a hell of a lot of fun to do. That was several years ago. One of the more memorable roles, or I would argue one of the roles you're most recognized for, is the role of Admiral Paris. Has that been your experience? That's not true. Not true. Tell me. V. John the Supreme. Oh, of Adam. course. Of course. Oh, my gosh. I did the miniseries, 10 hours. I feel like such that a was loser. Quite a of course, yeah. Situation. You had the face tear open. And we were lucky we got it in one take. <laughs> but we had some wonderful, we had an actor, well, Andy Prine and I uh, had worked together. 55 some odd years ago, we started out in the theater together and we did Mr. Roberts together and he went on to do Look Home at Angel. We did a show together that um, there were like 12 people in it and eventually five of the actors out of the 12 all ended up with their own series. Uh, yeah, but that was a wonderful experience, uh, V, for me especially because there were a lot of people I knew and there were Mark Singer, people like that. It's a great series. Admiral Paris, I only wish there had been more and I only wish, you know, at the final episode especially, that I could have had an opportunity to speak to my son. That sure. I could have said something simple. You know, like, welcome home, son. Simple. One of my favorite roles on TV, mm -hmm. and one of my favorite actors to work with is Scott Bakula. Mm -hmm. I did uh, Quantum Leap. I pay, played Captain Galaxy. It was a wonderful role, kind of a regular guy, a most time guy who was fashioned after some guy who had a TV kid show in some small town. I actually got a chance to be a person in that rather than some kind of commanding figure. And working with him was... And Don Belisario, when he did the final episode, he wrote me into the final episode. And at that time I played Ziggy, a uh, Slovak coal miner. <coughs> now he wrote three people from various episodes back into that role. But I would say that was my favorite role on TV. Um, my favorite role in film was a film that never really was quite seen by people. It was Fist. I did a film with Stallone called Fist about the Federation of Interstate Truckers. It was about the forming of the Teamsters Union. Uh, wonderful director, Norman Jewison. And we, uh, we shot it in Dubuque, basically. And uh, we had, you know, Peter Boyle, we had Kevin Conway, we had David Huffman. We had a lot of uh, wonderful theater people uh, that were in this piece, <clears throat> but it uh, didn't catch on. Hmm. But it was my favorite film role. And uh, on, on stage, <clears throat> I had the privilege of getting the tail end of many years ago, doing Willie Loman in Death of a Salesman, sure. which I did on the road uh, as well, which was uh, something I, I cherish. And, think about and think about the people that were associated with that. Uh, my only thing, as I told you about Voyager, I would have loved to have had an opportunity for him to say, hi, Dad, and for me to say, welcome home, son. 
Definitely, I think. That and the, we both did our roles. <coughs> never together, looking at a piece of masking tape on the wall. <laughs> so no actual interaction between the actors the entire time. Yeah.